All right, we are finally done. <laughs> we are finally at the last section of the reviews, the mage cards revealed during this stream. Uh, right, let's start right into it. Brain Freeze, we reviewed this already. It's still pretty good. Freeze Minion, combo deal three. One mana mage rogue spell. That's pretty good. You can see in the card the video where we already reviewed this. Next, Trick Totem. Yeah, as in trick out way too much spells damage. Got him. So yeah, this is good. This is really strong. So cheating out spells like that is awesome. Theoretically, the average spell is going to be a two mana spell, which means that you're, you know, but also like uh, it's random. So it's a little under two mana worth of value to you. But the potential for this to activate twice or more. Oh my god. And if it activates some sort of totem synergy and you already have other totems on board. Oh my god. This is incredibly powerful. Um, I think this is, has a place in basically every totem shaman and probably even other types of shaman. Just for the early game tempo. All right. Um, I'm not so sure about putting this in mage. Mage has a lot of targeted spells that are that cheap. It also has a lot of generation spells that are that cheap so maybe it'll still work in, in mage uh, all of its secrets are included in that too right so um actually uh, no i take it back i think this would be pretty good in mage um getting a random secret or is usually fine especially if it's like netherwind portal right um i don't know i don't think it's an auto include like i think of it in shaman i don't know though for sure uh next we have Worm Weaver, 5 mana, 3, 6, Spell Burst, Summon 2, 1, 3 mana worms. Uh, well, as we know, mana worms are 2 drops, so this has huge value. I mean, like, realistically, this is probably fine. I don't love it. Um, maybe, I mean, you probably play this on, like, your small spell combo turn, right? Um... This ends up being kind of a two-turn finisher, potentially, because Mana Worms are actually pretty powerful. Um, so, let's walk through this. You play it on five, you're out of mana, you can't follow up the Spell Burst. Okay. So you play a couple of spells on six, now you have two, three, three Mana Worms that are just kind of there. Um, and they can attack on seven. Eh? I mean, I guess... Uh, I feel like you need to proc that spell burst the turn it's played, which isn't ridiculous in mage, but I don't think it's very strong. I don't know. In the in the live stream, it felt like Crypt got kind of lucky with being able to proc it and keep the worms around and get them huge. But maybe I'm wrong because, you know, mage has always been able to like freeze and um, remove minions pretty efficiently. So maybe this is... It is as slow as I'm saying, but maybe you're able to keep the opponent off of your guys long enough for this to actually work. After that, we have Firebrand. Three mana, three, four. Good start. Spell Burst. Deal four damage randomly split among all enemy minions. This is Flame Waker, but minion board clear, strictly. That's amazing. Um, and it has plus one attack, which is better, obviously. So, this is really good. I think this is almost an auto-include in any sort of mage that is at all concerned with controlling the early board. Spoiler, that's probably all of them. And that spell burst is pretty easy to trigger. As you get cheaper and cheaper, spell burst effects, the, um, they get easier and easier to trigger. Next, we have Cram Session. Um, this depends on the prevalence of spell damage, which I think will be pretty high. Uh, so you want at least one spell damage to actually play this. You'll probably get two. Uh, well, you'll probably want two, right? Um, but that's really good. Drawing two for two or drawing three for two even is much better than Arcane Intellect. Um, Book of Spectres has a huge potential downside, and that's draw three for two, right? So, like, that is a deck restriction. That's not even just... Um, inbuilt downside like take damage or shuffle imps into your deck that is a straight up deck restriction so i think it's safe to say that uh this card is going to see play if uh spell damage is even remotely relevant to the meta next we have steward of scrolls i'm kind of not so feeling this one it's it doesn't strike me as very good 
Uh, it's a five mana four four spell damage plus one. Battle cry. Discover a spell. Eh. Mm. You know, as with all discover a spell neutral effects, it's from your class. Um. I don't know, it's pretty straightforward, understated for a good discover and a bonus effect like spell damage plus one. I guess it's kind of like Azure Drake, but with the elemental tag instead. I don't know how significant elemental is going to be. I don't think there's a whole lot of elemental synergy in, if there is any at all, in standard right now. Um, yeah, I'd say this is most comparable to Azure Drake, where you draw one, you generate one, for, and it has spell damage plus one. So, you know, that was really good. Back in the day, um, not so sure if it lives up to today's standards, though. This next card, though. Holy crap. Sorceress Substitute. Six mana, six, six. Battle cry. If you have spell damage, summon a copy of this minion. What? Pair this with the, um, what is it? Primordial studies? I don't know. Whatever mages studies are, which is discover a spell damage minion. So if you discover a spell damage minion with studies, your next spell damage minion costs one less. You can play this on six with a free um, lab partner, right? Or, you know, on seven or even eight potentially. And that's kind of pushing it, I think. But just playing uh, two six sixes on six is way too much for most other, or for most opponents to be able to handle. So I think... This is, again, it's limited by how good spell damage is. I think spell damage is going to be pretty good. So I look forward to seeing this in every single spell damage mage deck. Or spell damage shaman deck. The other classes, probably not so much. But we'll see. <laughs> and that wraps up the review of all the cards revealed in today's live stream. Hope you enjoyed all that. If you need more because you are a glutton for punishment, you can go ahead and click the link to the channel or wait until the end slate pops up to click any of those links. And I will see you guys later.